One of the first things I wanted when I was very, very young was a pair of binoculars. I knew where all the yellow warblers' nests were at, the red-eyed vireos. And I just fell in love with birds. Widgets? Nope, those are shovelers. Shovelers. Uh-huh. Great fast flyers. Incredible fast flyers. Oh, swans. Yeah, the white ones. Yeah, those are big swans. Big tundra swans. And they're headed way north into, into Alaska. That's where these guys are headed. And the dominant bird out here right now are American widgeons with that Eurasian widgeon that we just spotted and then uh, some redhead ducks are out there. Big rafts now of, of snow geese on the north end of the main lake. We've been married almost, what, 40 years, and mm -hmm. that's one of my gifts I got early on, and uh, we've been following the birds. We love to go down south and see them, and we love to, to watch them in our backyard, as well as come to places like Freeze Out, where they congregate. This is our 13th year coming to Freeze Yeah, Out. we started the first time, I think it was in 99. It's right after we got our little camper truck, because we love to come over here and camp, and it's got canvas sides on it, so you get to hear all the birds, and it's a incredible amount of noise at night. Maybe they're greeting one another, I don't know. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of fields around here that have grain left over and they are able to eat here, but I have a feeling the water is... Water the, and feed, I mean, that's the yeah, two things. Yeah. It's almost like a prairie pothole, but it's got a little different history in that because of the irrigation thing and the dikes and stuff that they've built. 
It's a flyway. Um, mm -hmm. for the Along the front as they're coming out of central California, headed to very, very northern Canada, where they'll mate and, and uh, raise their young and head back south and do the thing year after year after year. And we kind of migrate from Missoula to here every year to, to see watch him, him come. So, yeah. Aww, kids are wonderful. Have you still got him in there? Yeah, he's still there. Hi. We got the <laughs> Eurasian widgeon. Oh, you do? Here. Yeah. So what did you get? It's a Eurasian widgeon. It's these guys that are, they say they're a rare visitor from Eurasia. Yeah. Can you spot him there? Or? Um, let me look at the picture again. Okay. Yeah, this guy right, right there. Everybody that you see is very interested in what's here and the birds and they're very friendly and everybody wants to know more about the different birds. I mean, just like we've met some people here that we didn't know and you get to visit with them and share stories and talk about birds or, or other things. Turn around? Yeah, that's yeah. where I learned to ski yeah. and patrol there oh, until I left there. And, oh, you did yeah. patrol yeah. there? Yeah, well, as soon as I got into it, I went yeah, into the, you know, I kind of like that kind of thing anyway. So. Good morning. Who are you from? I'm from Drummond. Drummond. Oh, yeah, Yeah, actually it's, Nice. And came over to see the geese. Yeah. Going where birds are, beautiful places to be. And it gets you out, gets you going, and and it's it's just a it's it's a neat uh, a neat sport to be a bird watcher. I I've just gotten more and more into it as 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 I've gotten older. I don't keep a, a life list or anything like that where people go to see a certain type of bird or capture a species or something, you know, for their list. Just the idea is you're out in their habitat and what birds are here and you learn what they are. And sometimes I've recorded them in our bird book when we saw them. And a couple of years after that, I'll be back, look, oh, wow, I haven't seen one of those before. Open up the bird book and, well, I actually did, <laughs> forgot, so. <laughs> comes another raft of geese in. And they're low they enough, they're going those. right. Oh, way out there. there. Yeah, they're kind of headed to the north. They might hook over here into this pond. Yeah. Neat. Once you're here, you want to keep coming back. It's just neat to meet the people and see the birds and hear the sounds.